Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall continue to solve the model question paper of GPSTR 2022 for Maths and Science aspirants. Okay, so before that, I thank all my subscribers for your support. And if you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the video we upload here related to GPSTR exam, TET, Central TET and competitive exams also. Okay, let's move into the solutions now. We will analyze the paper. For the previous question paper solution, please check the description box and you can practice. So this question is of assertion and reasoning type there will be two statements and we have to find out whether whether the statements are true or false and how they are related like that okay and usually the questions of will be like this whether um, both a and b are true or whatever it is but here reasoning b they have given but here they have mentioned about r so that reasoning only they by mistake i think they have given r in the bracket they have given a here and they have taken a and for instead of b r they have given b here check it out with that okay don't get confused okay we'll read moral behavior is to be considered as essential quality of total personality of individual so what is meaning of this the moral behavior is helpful for the personality development that's what they mean to say of an individual when personally for each individual so it seems like a true statement right let's check out with the second one development of character is independent independent on factors like physical environment and cultural legacy so does any this um, physical environment have any effect on the development of character yes there will be you know even cultural legacy also will have in developmental aspects you know that will affect so that may not be true according to me so um, a is true and r is not true that's what is so these type of questions only when they give the final answers daily but according to my knowledge and i have referred i think this is correct answer Okay, we shall now solve few mathematics questions. The rational number in the following having termination decimal expansion is the options are given. So here when you come across like this to find out uh, decimals with terminating numbers means after decimal 3.1654 if it is only having 345 if it terminates if it ends that is called as termination. Suppose if it is recurring if it is point nine 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 it fit goes on uh, recurring that is not terminating okay so to find out whether it is a terminating decimal there is a small trick that is if the denominator has the factors of only two or if you take the factors of denominator if it is having only five or both five and as five and two as factors then the denominator will have terminating decimal okay so let's check it out here if it is 91 so 91 may not have the factor 2 so we can eliminate this answer in 42 this may not have the factor of 5 so we'll let us eliminate let's check from 80 and 45 so 45 may not have the factor as 2 so 80 you can select it. let us check it out with 80 so if you factorize this you will get factors of 2 and 5 hence this will be the answer this will give you the terminating decimal okay in the exam you no need to um, write all this and all this in order to explain you I have written here so you can just use the trick and you can answer this multiple choice questions if it is of um, what is that called descriptive type uh, questions you have to explain it let's move into the next one 
the mean of frequency distribution is 7 if sigma fi xi is equal to 120 plus 3k and sigma fi is equal to 30 then the value of k is we have to find out the option so actually after solving when I check the answer that did not suit the answer for which they have given the options so it was of 30 so I checked with Kannada medium uh, question paper Kannada medium version then it was given as 7.5 as the mean so um, I will just explain you the method is the same only thing the final answer here you will get the different answer if you take mean as 7.5 you will get the answer as 35 okay but I have solved here for 7 only it is given 7 in the English medium question paper mean is 7 and sigma fi into xi is given and this value is given you no need to write all this in the exam you can directly if you know the formula substitute and find out for multiple choice questions okay otherwise you will have to waste time in this so we know the formula mean is equal to sigma fi into xi divided by sigma fi substitute for this value mean is 7 and this sigma fi into xi is 120 plus 3k divided by sigma fi is 30 then 3 30 into 7 210 and rearrange since this k value we have to find out it is on the right hand side take 3k there and if you shift this 120 other side it becomes 210 minus 120 then on sh shifting this basic concepts and all you might be knowing already uh, still if you have doubt please check it out with other videos which we posted related to this basic concepts of mathematics which will be given in the description box okay so on solving this for k 210 minus 120 gives us 90 so k is equal to 90 by 3 that gives us 30 so actually since i have taken mean as 7 we got the answer as 30 which is not given here so if you go for 7.5 you will get the answer as 35 cleared next in an AP 56th term is 5 by 37 then the sum of first 111 terms of AP is dash actually so this seems like a 3 in Roman letters Roman letters they may not give in the middle of the statement like this so it should be 111 okay 111 and what is given here t56 that is also ap t56 is 5 by 37 and s sum of when you see this word sum of so it is understood that is sn value sum of 111 terms you have to find out so let us consider the formula of ap to find the nth term of uh, given or to find a value d value the basic formula tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d and substitute for n value as 56 56 is n value and a plus 56 minus 1 into d and t 56 value is 5 by 37 and 56 minus 1 is 55 and we got the answer like this but here in this equation we have two unknown terms a and d whenever you come across two unknown terms a and d you just wait and then proceed in solving using some related formula then only you can solve sometime you may get a simultaneous equation on solving equation 1 and 2 you may get it so let's see how it is okay how some relation will be given in the further solution there is also given about sum of some first terms so we know the formula for sum of the uh, terms in AP okay that is SN is equal to n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d so if you substitute n value as 111 we will get like this you know, 111 by 2 to a plus 111 minus 1 into d on solving this 110 d we get remaining term as it is and from this 2 we can take 2 as common factor when you take out 2 a plus 55 d remains here you see so there is some relation between this equation 1 and this one so a plus 55 d value we can substitute here this 2 to get cancels 111 one, one you write as it is into instead of a plus 55 d you substitute the value 5 by 37 in this equation you can take as equation number 2 this one and substitute the value and solve for this 37 ones are 37 threes are 111 so 3 fives are 15 so s yes, 111 value is 15 
so option 1 is 15 okay so in the exam for the multiple choice again I am repeating you no need to write all this neatly and um, wait for the answer you can just skip wherever it is not necessary that you have to write you can skip if you know the di answer direct answer you can write in order to explain you I have written all this if it is for descriptive type you can write the formula so that you will be clear of that okay what you what you know like substitution is main and the final answer with proper sign that is main and moving to the next one 29th question easy one the probability of getting two heads when two coins are tossed simultaneously so you have two coins you are tossing it simultaneously so coins will have one side head and one side it will be having tail so if you toss them simultaneously what are the probability you will get both will have head head both h h you will get or one h and one t you will get or one t and one h or both will have t t when you simultaneously toss them so they have asked here when two coins are tossed simultaneously probability of getting two heads so out of so oh, there are one two three four options we have four options among that how many times you will get both as head ones so one by four so option number two one by four is the right answer in the following classes we will try to take few classes based on probability also next hcf and lcm of two numbers x and 50 are respectively 10 and 100 then the value of x is we have to find out the value of x we have already learnt about uh, sums regarding hcf and lcm link is given in the description box please check it out and this in the sum they have given the product of uh, sorry the numbers they have given and their HCF and LCM is given we know the formula HCF and LCM the product of HCF and LCM is equal to product of the two numbers so what are the HCF and LCM 10 and 100 respectively of which number x and 50 ok and now bring this 50 to the denominator we need to find out x so 10 into 100 by 50 on solving this 0 0 cancels 5 ones are 5 twos are so 20 x is equal to 20 option 3 20 is the right answer on moving to the next one mean proportion of 9 and 16 is so here whenever they give sums related to this mean proportion so we have to consider let the mean proportion of some number be x or y whatever it is unknown terms you can select and we have to express them like this way 9 is to x is as to x is to 16 whatever number is given now the product of mean proportion is equal to the product of the extremes ok therefore x square is equal to 9 into 16 x square is equal to 144 when you multiply and taking the square root of this value to find the x square root of 144 is 12 option number 3 12 is the right answer you can simplify here only in this step you see x square so these two numbers are the uh, so we can find out square root easily square root of 9 is 3 square root of 16 is 4 so 4 3 is 12 here only you can you no need to write all this if you know the simple method ok we shall move to the next one the value of minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6 so here if you find these kind of sums wherever there is multiplication you can simplify first ok you no need to take it down and write it again and then solve um, in order to explain you I have written here you just try to solve there only otherwise you will waste time ok simplifying this 3 1s are 3 1s are cancel it off 3 1s are 3 2s are 6 so on solving you will get minus 2 by 5 here plus 5 by 2 minus 1 by 5 into 2 10 ok this and you have to take the LCM of the denominator and so getting the LCM you get LCM as 10 so divided by 10 you write 5 2's are 10 so 2 into 2 4 uh, 2 
5s are same 10 so 5 5s are 25 10 ones are 10 so 1 ones are 1 only so this taking up LCM and after solving you can solve in any method of you feel like if you feel easy uh, the basic methods if you want clear explanation for this you can check the previous videos but still I'll explain here don't worry so um, here 25 minus 1 is 24 and minus 4 as it is again 24 minus 4 is 20 divided by 10 20 by 10 is 2 okay and option number 4 is the correct answer in this following classes we will try to solve the remaining questions also even the descriptive type questions and uh, keep following our channel for the remaining videos related to GPSTR exams of physics concepts, mathematics concepts, mental ability, even chemistry and biology. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up so that we will make sure that at least you like and you learn some something from this video which is useful for you. Okay, thank you so much.